you know, playing that way consistently. Uh, it's everybody. Um, guys are screening. Uh, we're running. Guys are spaced. Uh, we're making the easy play, and he's doing a good job of reading the defense. Um, you know, figuring out how they're guarding him and how he can combat that. So I think it's everyone um, is is helping that, and I think he's doing a great job as well. Derek's just you know a stud. Um, his ability to play different positions, his ability to screen, ball handle, his physicality on defense, you know, we're lucky to have him. I didn't. I thought we got great looks. We just didn't make them. Pro the thing about his own defense is it just forces you to stay uncomfortable. And I'm not uncomfortable with our, our players shooting wide open threes. Um, I liked our physicality. I liked our ability to switch. I liked our pickup points in the second half, and I liked our spacing on the offensive end. I thought we competed. I thought Blake's loose ball was the highlight of the game for me, to be honest with you. I think that setting the tone in the second half with that physicality is it was great. That was great leadership. I thought they handled themselves well. Um, you know, I thought our defensive coverages were clean. Uh, like I said, I don't think it was a matter of uh, those. It was our, our pickup points and our pressure just wasn't great in the first half. And, you know, when you're not connected like that defensively, um, it, it takes a toll on everybody. And so once we got connected, you know, it was better. Joe, I mean, it seemed like they just kept running young bodies at, at you guys. I mean, it seemed like it was just kind of a, a battle of attrition with you guys coming off a of back to back and just them being so young and energetic. I mean, just the pride that you have in your team for just kind of weathering the storm on, on, a, on a tough night. Yeah, I mean, they were coming up for back-to-back -back also. Um, but, you know, just because we had two good games, we can't create this expectation that things are always going to go our way and that, you know, we're always going to be feel comfortable. And so it's not going to be that way. And I thought our guys did a great job staying even keeled, poised. Uh, they challenged each other. And, you know, we, we know exactly what we need to do and I think a part of a great team is building an awareness to when are we playing well and when are we not, and then how do we get back to being you know, ourselves. And I thought we did a great job of that at halftime. I mean, he's a, he's a great player. He's, you know, he's young. He's going to be good. Um, but our guys are just as good. Um, I had a, just as much fun watching our guys compete defensively in the second half, boxing out, limiting them to one shot, executing, ball pressure. I thought Smart was great defensively. I thought JB got great looks. I thought he was good defensively. Um, you know, I thought our guys played well. So I was more focused on that. Joe, the challenge, okay, uh, White stripped Anthony and thought he got all ball. And I think he might have encouraged you to challenge that. You didn't, but then you waited until the ball off Banchero with White, I mean, with, with, Brown, what encouraged you to do that challenge and not the other one, and what went into that? Yeah, decision? at the four-minute mark, we had a timeout to burn because I never used them, as you guys say, so I figured I had a, <laughs> a whole bunch. Um, but I just thought it was a difference between a judgment call and a factual call, and so I saw the ball go off Ben Carroll's knee, and I thought I felt much more comfortable, whereas a slap down, um, even if you don't show your hands, you're putting them in a position to where it's a 50-50 call. And so I wanted to save our timeouts. Uh, I knew we had one to burn, and then the next play presented itself. And, you know, all, with the new rule of, well, it was off him, but either way, we had possession and we came down. I think we scored. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.